The zooming. What's up, guys? We're back from hiatus. We were busy doing stuff for two weeks, but the videos have returned. You're here with me, Lewis, and Nick. There you go. And we're here to bring you the news you knew already for the week of July 27, 2015. Let's go! First up on the docket, we have some news regarding Galic Z The Dimensional, which is coming out as part of the Summer Play PlayStation 4 program this summer. It's coming out August 8th. And last week, the developer 17-bit revealed a tantalizing bit of information about the game that had been under wraps until this point, which is to say that you can turn your spaceship into a mech. And I'm hyped. This game looks really cool. It's a game based on nostalgia and love for 70s and 80s anime. So, of course, your spaceship can turn into a robot. We should have all known. But they did a good job keeping it a secret, and it's a cool thing to release so close to the game's release to get people excited. So check out Galaxy when it comes out in a couple weeks. Uh, I know I will. This week, Hearthstone had a get-together. They did, actually, in San Francisco. Uh, regarding their new expansion, it's going to have 132 cards. It's called the Grand Tournament. Uh, the new mechanic for these cards are the Inspire mechanic. Um, anytime you use your hero power after your hero power is used, uh, whatever inspire mechanic the card has will be activated. So some of them are like inspire plus one attack or a bunch of other stuff. There's like summons, a whole ton of stuff for that. Um, they announced that the grand tournament will be coming out in August at some point and your arena cards will already like have them when you draft arena decks. Uh, your rewards now will will change between having a classic card pack as your reward or GVG, Goblins versus Gnomes, or Grand Tournament, not just Grand Tournament. Uh, what else? They have, oh, they have like a pre-order pack where you can purchase 50 card packs for $49.99. Which is actually pretty good of a deal if you want to pay that much money. <laughs> I don't want to pay that much money. I have like a bunch of gold saved up, so I'm just going to use that for card packs. But they look cool. Um, Trump's reviewed a bunch of the cards. You can look on his Trump YouTube, whatever. Um, he's kind of iffy on those cards, though. We don't know if the Inspire mechanic is going to do a whole lot because you don't use hero powers that much. Um, when you play like one game, but we'll we'll see if you can you know mix them in your deck. But it's pretty cool. We're excited. I'm excited for more Hearthstone cards. Uh, so we'll have to see if they're pretty good later. All right, for this next story, I've got a lot of notes, so I may be doing a little bit of reading because there's crazy stuff going on. So Counter Strike Go has had a little controversy in the last week or so. One of Cloud9's former players, his name is Corey Friesen, and his ID in the game is Semphis, let fly in an interview with Mohan Landers, is his name? Govindazami. Sorry, I, I watch C CS, but I'm not deep into the scene. Uh, if you do, you probably can say that name a lot better than I can. Anyways, in the interview, Symphys alleged that the entirety of Cloud9 was on Adderall at ESL1 in Katowice this year. Symphys is no longer on the team, and it's really crazy for anyone to admit this true or not, because there have been a lot of rampant speculation about the use of Adderall as a performance-enhancing drug in competitive esports. Adderall is typically an ADHD or ADD drug that helps to enhance a person's focus and when not prescribed can be abused to really enhance your focus beyond what is normally possible. So the ESL 
is working on implementing some anti-doping policies and drug testing to make sure that players are not cheating. Uh, hopefully, the ESL can learn from past mistakes of, say, Major League Baseball and competitive professional cycling in the Tour de France and get ahead of this and curb it before it becomes a rampant huge problem in competitive gaming. Whether it is or isn't right now is still for debate, however. That being said, a lot is still up in the air, but they're working to hammer out the policies and the specifics. So stay tuned if you're an esports fan because things can get real interesting in the coming weeks. Street Fighter V's uh, beta on the PS4 was this week. At least it was supposed to be this week. Uh, the whole week was shut down basically because the servers were overloaded the whole time. Oddly enough, people want to play Street Fighter V on PS4. I don't, <laughs> they just didn't realize that, Capcom, I guess. Uh, so it's actually been extended. So this video is on Monday. It's supposed to be done on Tuesday. Uh, we don't know how long they're extending the beta. We don't even know if it's going to work after the extension. But uh, Capcom has been working on server maintenance for a good portion of the weekend. And I've tried once uh, when it, the day it came out and I got to the training mode. And that's it. I had never fought anyone yet. So... You know, it that's what betas are that's what real betas are for. They're basically to find the find all the bugs and get them out of there. So, we can't like blame them for that, but it is kind of upsetting to not be able to help out in a beta. But uh, Street Fighter 5 is coming to PlayStation 4 and PC in next year, early next year. I think Marchish unless they get delayed. They get I mean, for this beta, they might get delayed, but we don't know. So, Looks cool though. Looks awesome. Here at And Now Just Listen, we are in love with Rocket League. Rocket League, for you who don't know, is a game where you play soccer with cars, and it's fantastic. It's amazing. It's free if you have PS Plus this month. You should go pick it up. It's on Steam. It's only 20 bucks. It's great. You should all be playing Rocket League. And to make matters even better, they've announced that they plan on addressing a lot of user concerns in some upcoming patches and updates and releases. So, first up, they have con Psyonix have confirmed that they're working on content additions to the game, including a ranked team 3v3, spectator mode, and a solution to play with friends cross-platform, which is awesome since we can play with PC players on PS4 and vice versa, being able to link up with your friends would be a huge bonus. Finally, there will be some free items to make up for server issues at launch. And they've also announced a couple of DLC cars that are coming out, along with a couple of new maps, I believe, which will be free. The cars will not be free. But it's great to see that they're addressing some of the issues uh, and uh, bringing some content that players can look forward to. They'll also be instituting some penalties for ranked quitters, which is great because that really sucks to get bailed on, uh, both for and against you. So looking forward to more Rocket League. If you haven't played it yet, go check it out. Here we go. Now let's kick it to Nick for releases. <laughs> All right, for our new releases this week, we have not that much, but, you know, whatever. Galaxide. Is that, like, pesticide for the galaxy? Yes. <laughs> on, <laughs> that's how you kill aliens. Uh, for PC, July 28th, we got King's Quest Episode 1, A Night to Remember. A K'Night, a K'Night to Remember. Uh, which, King's Quest is a well-known adventure series uh, for a whole bunch of platforms, July 28th. Lost Dimension for PS3 and Vita. So no one's going to play that one. N++, which is like highly sought after game. Part of the summer play yeah, part of the summer play series, uh, which is usually PlayStation and Xbox have like a... S Xbox does it too sometimes. They have their like summer series where they put out downloadable games and you can get a discount if you purchase a set of them. Um, N++ is a, like a 2D action-y game-ish, I think, platformer-ish. Super hard. Super hard. 
Uh, what else we got? Onikira Demon Killer. If you want to kill some demons. July 30th on PC. And The Swindle for PC platforms. PC platforms. PS, PlayStation platforms and PC platforms. <laughs> July. Just the one PC platform. July 28th. As well as Xbox One on the 31st. Uh, don't know what that is either. But might be cool. Check out those things. Check out our blog at and now just listen at gmail.com. No, that's not the blog. That's the email. <laughs> and now just listen at wordpress.com is a blog. Uh, our video has all of our other videos down here. Like, comment, subscribe down here too. We have our podcast. You can search and now just listen on Spreaker and iTunes. Um, and tweet at us at ANJL Tweets. I think that's it. We'll see you next week. I don't know. <laughs> Bye now. This week, yeah, it is turned off.